M0FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXB, so let's show you how to change your wallpaper on your Cisco 525G using a USB stick, which is here. Okay, so first thing, get yourself a USB stick and plug it into your, I'm in my laptop here, like I've just done, you get this, this is my USB drive, and right click, click new folder, and call, make a folder called pictures, that's really important or it won't work, okay, so there's my pictures one there, and it's already got my couple of pictures in there, so minimize that for now, don't need that yet, now you want to create and uh, get that image that we got, so we'll go, uh, what we'll do, the, my quickest way is just to drag it across. So we'll go to my videos, go to the an image that isn't the right size yet, and say this one here, the one we got from Screen Snip, and just drag it into there, and you've got an image there to play with. So now what you want to do is go File, New, okay? And this is the section where you're going to create an image this, the right size. So let's say a new project, call it HV2, and you need to put in 320 where it says width, don't touch pixels, uh, 240 height, and then here where it says DPI, just change the first three digits to 150 and then there's a dot, okay? And then here the drop down, just create black, okay? So 320, 240, 150, black, and then click create. So what you've done, you've created the right size, but you haven't got the image in there yet. So now what you do is go back to the picture you've got, which is the wrong size, and you go file at the top, let's get it right now, edit at the top and click copy. Right, then click the tab here that says new project, where it went black. See that? New project, just for here. Now go back to the edit and click paste. You've now pasted that wrong size picture into the correct size. Now you can download your file here at the top, file. And then go export as and just do JPEG and then click save and then put it somewhere you're going to find it. So, you know, it's called HV2. Go click to so click it, click the little down arrow and click show in folder. And see at the top here, I will just drag it into my videos like that. My videos. Wait till you see the word my videos. Move to Pi. Move to Quick Axe. There you are, my videos. It says it there. And I let go. So now when you click my videos, if you look here, You've got the picture you need. Um, let's have a look. It's the one that was HV2. There, there's one. There it is, the HV2. So you know you've got the picture. And then just make sure that's in your stick. So go to your stick here, USB stick, and then find that image like so. How are we going to do this? Image. Should we copy it? Yeah. So we'll go copy, right click. Uh, copy is that little square on Windows 11 and then go back to USB drive pictures double click right click paste there you go show more options paste it's Windows 11 so it's a bit annoying replace there you are so now we've got it on our stick let's put that in the actual radio well it's not really a radio is it a Cisco 525 okay back at the Cisco uh, it's a bit dark but the USB sticks in there so all you do is go to, got a missed call there, look back, settings button here, the little envelope, click that, then go on here to go down to user preferences number seven, then screen preferences number three, then go down to wallpaper, I've already selected it, but you can select it, uh, and then it will find everything on your stick. And look, it's found all these other ones, but look, it's, it's found my hands over IP one there. So just click the tick in the middle and set, and that will be there. Now, there's still one more thing we need to do to make it use it. And put the IP address of your Cisco 525 into your, UR, into your browser. To find your IP address, just go to your device, click settings, go down here to number eight click enter network configuration and then go down to where is it on mine it's network configuration hit that and then go wi-fi configuration no actually go to static ip settings on mine look 
It's 192, because Mine, mine's on static, but that's, that's where you find your IP address. So we've got that in, now click on user. See it says user there. This is where you would change your URL and just scroll to the bottom, make sure you've clicked advanced and user login. So you're on the user tab, go to the bottom there and just see here at the bottom, it's got download BMP picture. Change that to default. You want it to say default and then click submit all changes. And that's it, when it reboots, it, you'll have your, that image there or any other image you choose. Hope this helps, 7-3, all the best.